I didn't see it. We were just like in the hospital oh and you were like about to have the baby, but someone else in our family was having a baby too. Baby with children of summer, we're meant to be free. Honey, we're not like the other, no reason to be. My love, why is Santa hitting on you? Why is he being Santa so says central? I've been extra nice this year. <laughs> Whoa! Merry Christmas, everyone! Say Merry Christmas! We're at the Christmas store. This is our favorite store in Lincoln City on the coast. Whoa! Whoa! Look at all the ornaments, dog. Crazy. <laughs> There's so many bugs. Which one do you want? Oh no, that one's glass, that one's glass. Look at all of them. You wanna pick one out? Hey! Oh my goodness, Papa keeping you warm? She's in the Papa sweater. <laughs> yeah, sweater. You guys look so cute and cuddle. It is cute. Me. It's pretty windy out here, <laughs> but we've got Paris out here, so that's why we're sitting outside. It's not that cold necessarily, just the wind. Yeah. But um, the Christmas store is super fun, super busy. It's busy here at the coast this weekend. And we picked out a couple ornaments. We'll have to show you what those are later. But now we're getting some food at McMinimins. We haven't been here in so long. I'm so excited for the Cajun tater tots. Yum. Aww. This, looks this looks so freaking good. Here, bud. You ready? Mushrooms. It's probably hot. You gotta blow at it. Um. Oh my goodness! So much good food. Corbin and I were just talking about how we feel like Oregon has the best food. It this does. is so freaking good. It's we had that pizza was amazing. Oh, everything was so good. But we are back at our campsite. I don't think we've even shown you our campsite. We have a little fire going. Is that fun? Fire? She's loving it. I know she is. And it's not that stressful because she's scared of it. She's scared of it? Well, like she doesn't like the smoke, so when she's running by, she'll like duck under it. Oh, good. Yeah, I know. It's You never know with toddlers. We have to keep a real close watch on her because she might be scared of it one second, but who knows about the next second. Um, but I did want to show you, before we came back to our campsite, uh, we happened to stop by the outlets in Lincoln City. If you've never been to the outlets in Lincoln City, there's some pretty good ones. And when we were living here in my third trimester when I was pregnant with Juniper, we went to Carter's and got so many cute outfits. It was so fun. And it's crazy to like be back here now visiting and shopping for outfits for her. So we did, we shopped for outfits for her because she doesn't really have fall outfits. She has like two long sleeve shirts and it's getting pretty cold. So we got to use some, yeah. some cute things, huh? Yeah. This little outfit with this coat, it's actually like a three in one. It's got a coat, onesie and pants. So there's that one don't really want this all to smell like campfire smoke so I'm gonna do it fast and then this little like it's a corduroy romper or skort dress overall thing I don't know what you would call it and then a long sleeve shirt comes with it oh and tights too This cozy outfit, again, it has like a cute little soft coat and then it's got these little elephant print pants and a short sleeve onesie underneath. We got her a couple pajamas. Um, oh, this is super cute. I consider it pajamas, but I feel like she could also wear it as like loungewear. And it has little kitty cats on it because she's becoming obsessed with kitty cats. It's so cute. And then one more 
really soft like pajama slash loungewear and it has a little koala on the bum. So cute. Oh, and just some basic onesies and then these little mittens. <laughs> so she is set. Set for lots of outdoor fall, winter adventures. Well, I had the craziest dream last night. I had a dream about our future child. It was a boy, by the way. And um, I didn't see it. We were just like in the hospital. Oh my God. And you were like about to have the baby, but someone else in our family was having a baby too. Like, and you guys were at the same hospital. Really? Yeah, it was like my cousin or maybe, I don't know. It so was- you didn't see the baby. I didn't see the baby, you were just- But you know it was a boy. Yeah. For some reason in my dream, I knew it was a boy and, but we didn't see it. You hadn't gone into labor yet. We were like waiting. So I don't know. The dream doesn't really make sense because we wouldn't be at the hospital if you weren't in labor, but um, we were waiting and my cousin or my whole family was there and it was my cousin or someone that was close to my family. And they were like, oh, let's see whose water breaks first. And I was like, well, we're going to be waiting a while because Kelsey's water, your water didn't break. <laughs> with June like at all until June was like about to be born um, And I was like we're gonna be waiting a while and they're like, okay Well, let's see who goes or who has their baby first and I was like Yeah, Kelsey has really long labors. So that's probably not gonna That's not gonna be so us true. And then that's it. That was like the full dream, but I don't know. It was crazy Do you remember um, how last time we both had the same dream? About yeah having a girl and we saw her though in the dream I and know. she had like black hair. Yeah, that and was different because that like, we both we had the both dream. We both had the same dream on the same, on the same night. night. We both, we woke both up saw her. And we were like, I just had a dream about our baby. Yeah, that was crazy. I don't know about this dream, but it was crazy that I'm like having dreams already. That is crazy. Are yeah. we having a boy? I don't know. <laughs> But I'm gonna go ahead and end our vlog right here. We're gonna enjoy our campfire. Thumbs up if you like today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Be very Peter. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>